Hi, I'm Ed Damiano, founder of Beta Bionics. I'm here to talk to you today about filling your eyelet cartridge with insulin. If you are using pre-filled Fias pump card cartridges, you can skip this step. Make sure you have the required supplies and a clean work surface to fill the eyelet cartridge with insulin. Gather the following supplies, an eyelet cartridge, a syringe and a needle, a vial of Humalog or Novolog insulin, and an alcohol swab. First wipe the top of the insulin vial with an alcohol wipe and let it dry. Next, open the syringe package and remove the syringe from the packaging. Then, open the needle package and remove the needle from the packaging. Attach the syringe to the needle by twisting one onto the other. Next, Open the eyelet cartridge package and remove the empty eyelet cartridge from the packaging. Check to see if the red rubber plunger is at the top of the cartridge. If it is not, you can use the syringe and needle to remove air from the cartridge before filling the syringe with insulin. Pull back the plunger of the syringe. Make sure the plunger is at the 1.8 ml mark which is about halfway between the 1.5 and 2 ml marks. Remove the needle guard without touching the needle. Insert the syringe into the insulin vial. Push down the syringe plunger rod to fill the vial with the air from the syringe. Keeping the syringe in the vial, carefully and slowly invert the insulin vial and syringe. Pull back on the syringe plunger rod to fill the syringe with about 1.8 ml of insulin. Remove any air remaining in the syringe by flicking it with your finger and pushing on the syringe plunger rod to get rid of air bubbles. Pull back again as needed to fill the syringe to about 1.8 ml. When you have removed the bubbles from the syringe, you can now fill the eyelet cartridge. To fill the eyelet cartridge, hold the cartridge with one hand, and with the other hand, insert the syringe needle into the gray cartridge septum. Press down slowly on the syringe plunger rod to transfer the insulin from the syringe into the cartridge. It's important not to overfill the cartridge. The rubber plunger in the back might get pushed out if too much insulin is transferred. If this happens, dispose of the cartridge and use a new one. The cartridge does not hold more than 1.8 ml of insulin. Remove the needle from the cartridge and set it aside. Inspect the eyelet cartridge for any air bubbles. You need to remove large bubbles from your cartridge. Tap your cartridge against the table or with your finger to get the bubbles to go to the top of the cartridge. Carefully reinsert the needle, but only push the needle in a little bit so the tip of the needle is in the bubble. Pull back slightly on the syringe plunger rod to remove the bubble. Once there are no air bubbles remaining inside the cartridge, add any insulin remaining in the syringe back into the cartridge and remove the syringe. 
It's important to be gentle when filling your insulin cartridge. Do not insert the needle too many times or wiggle the needle around too much while inserting in the cartridge. These things can tear the septum, which will cause leaking of insulin into the islet. Now your cartridge is filled and ready to install into the islet. Never insert a filled cartridge into the islet until it is completely rewound. Follow the steps on your islet screen and those in the user guide or quick reference guide to complete your cartridge change process.